Aloha, Rich Halverson here. And uh, today I'm gonna uh, show you how to do, uh, help you all along with lab 2.13. So let me share my screen. All right, in this lab, uh, we are, are given an expression for how many calories we will burn during a workout. Uh, where the inputs are, the person's age, the person's age in years, the weight in pounds, the heart rate in beats per minute, and the time. I assume how much time you spend uh, doing this activity. So the input is the age in years, the pounds and weight in pound, uh, weight in pounds, the heart rate and the number of minutes that you uh, do this, do this workout. And you wanna output the calories. And so you're gonna output the, the word calories followed by a number which, which we're gonna calculate and, uh, and then the word calories. And this is the formula, okay? So um, <clears throat> you can see here in this formula, we got an age, we got a weight, we have a heart rate, and we have a time that that would be the the hours, and uh, so this is the equation. And this calories is the thing that we're going to print out right here. This is the variable. Okay, so down here they give us this formula, and then we're supposed to type our code here. Uh, it looks here like we're going to we're going to have a variable called calories. Uh, so uh, and that's going to be calculated with with this equation. Well, that's this is pretty easy. Okay, first we got to input these values, don't we? First of all, we have to input, and so I'm going to name them just like this. I'm going to name it this one: age. Age equals an input, uh, and uh, this input is going to be an integer. Looks like an integer, I guess. Yeah, we'll do it an integer. Uh, so then I got to do int. So that's going to come in as an integer. And next thing I'm going to do, wait. Wait. And that's going to be input. That's the second input here. Here. Uh, but I also want that to be an integer, I guess. Because these are all going to be integers. So I'm going to make that. Input. Remember, when you just input, it's just a string of characters, and we and you got to use a conversion thing to make it into whatever what the uh, internal representation you really want. So that's the weight. Uh, we also want this heart rate. Okay. Now it doesn't like the space, so I can either put an underscore there, or I can just um, uh, get rid of the space. I think I'll do it that way. Equals an input. And we want it to be an integer, so I'm going to int it, int it. Now, you know, I do it this way just because I'm trying to emphasize that the integer, uh, the int function has to operate on something that's already there, and that's input. So I just, I'm just doing it to emphasize. But normally, we can just write it like um, time equals, and that's going to also be an integer. But, okay, so that's time. And then we're going to uh, do a calculation and we're going to, this is the last thing we're going to do is print it. So I'm just going to copy this thing put it right there, paste. And inside here, we're going to put a little spacey there. It's going to be this, cal this calculation here. So I'm just going to copy this, copy. And here's where I just go along and I just sort of blindly convert what I see here into valid uh, Python code. So the first thing is it's gotta be, this is the variable. So I'm gonna copy this and put it here. That's gonna be the, this, the target, the thing that's calculated. This is age, that's okay, because it looks like that. Uh, this X, no, this X has gotta be an asterisk. Uh, blah, 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 that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. That's, uh, wait, oh, that's fine, it's called the same thing. Oh, this has got to be an asterisk because it's times. Uh, blah, 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 that's fine. Oh, we got to get rid of that space because it's got to look like this. And then, oh, this is times. 
And this is minus, is it, is it oh, this is times. Um, and that's that, that, that. Now, um, this is all cool because um, uh, uh, you know, this parentheses and order of evaluation and all that, that's, that's sort of a universal thing, math, computer science, all of it with the orders of operator precedence and these, um, you know, with the, with the uh, parentheses and so on, uh, all languages follow the same rules, even like database languages follow the same rules. Um, there was a language long ago called Pascal, which did not follow. But anyway, they all they all do. They all just think of them, they all do. There's no Pascal anymore. So, all right. So this this is it. Um, is this it? Might be it. Don't have to put semicolons or anything. Uh, let's uh, let's put these numbers here. Copy. And let's put them down here. Paste. And so these are the numbers that we're going to try. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to quick run program here and see what the answer is. Ugh. It, oh, <laughs> that is, I bet you that's a, some sort of special character hyphen and not really a minus sign. Uh, so I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to press a dash. You know, it's a little smaller. That's why. Uh, let's run it again. Looks good. Looks good. I'm going to let you uh, submit it and uh, see if you got all the points. I'm quite sure you're, you're going to get all the points. So uh, this is, I've shown you how to do lab 2.13. Thanks for watching.